Ah, oh, greetings bleepers, how the devil are you? Okay, so yes, I've come out. It's dastardly cold out here, dastardly cold. And it's, uh, it's yeah, it's bitter. It's been snowing loads as well. And what doesn't help is I've been watching loads of Game of Thrones and that never, that never bodes well for my metal detecting antics, really, because I just, I kind of just, just go a bit Game of Thronesy. Ah, however! <laughs> just, just shut up, just shut up. Anyway, so I'm going to, uh, there's sheep on this field. So I'm just going to crack on and see how I do. And, uh, whoa, here comes the sun. I'm just going to hope it doesn't snow. You know nothing, John Snow. <laughs> oh no! It's one of those old military buttons, but look, it's done in on the front. The ones that I really like. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well. Ah, and there we have musket ball. Don't grumble, don't grumble. It's a little piece of history. It gives us an idea of an age of what's going on on this field. Interesting. There you go, something very, very common. An invisible coat. This is why I like doing pasture, 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 pasture. This is why I like doing grass so much, because it's like you, you dig these perfect, perfect holes, and then you can just like pull out these cool plugs, and you can half that plug to see, just to ascertain. Okay, so it's in there. So I can now put that perfect plug back. Look, it's like a puzzle. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. And now what do I need to do? I'll half this. There you go, I just did that with my chi. Okay, and I'm gonna open this. Oh, so now I can put back this little bit here. Like a perfect puzzle. I don't think that one goes there. Oh no! Oh, it doesn't matter. Don't get too weird about this. Okay, let's see what's in here. I'm just gonna pull this one apart. Is that it? No, it's a flint. Um, okay, it's out. So there's my, not a great hole. That's not, I shouldn't really be, yeah, they're normally better than that. Uh, okay, so what we got here? Anything? Anything? So I'm just gonna pick up this lot there, nothing there. Um, oh, come on! What the blooming hell has it gone? Oh, good lord, man. Okay, it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is! Oh, it's a coin! Ha! You lot are lucky! You're blooming lucky! Ooh. Well, peel my skin and call me Barford. I do believe that, that is a little farthing. Very, very old one as well. Uh, and these actually clean up quite nicely, believe it or not, when, once you put them in uh, olive oil. Hmm, very interesting. Looks like a little skull. It's like bony from Trapdoor. Wow. That's cool. It's not a little skull. It's just my imagination running right wild. I like it. Sheepies, don't panic sheepies. I'm not here for your women. I'm here for your gold. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think that might be a hammered coin. Oh my God. Oh, you know, that's that. Uh, what is with me and hammered coins at the moment? I've got no idea what it is. I'm going to give it a quick clean up, but that's my second of this year already. That's I'm pretty sure it's hammered. I can see. Yeah, it is. Okay, one second, one second. That's. A, oh, I've never seen that one before. Never seen. A, hey, that's a that's a little beauty. That is. Is that a Tudor rose on the front? I'm not sure. I'd have to get Electus or one of the guys at the forums to have a look at that one for me. But I'm sure I probably need it cleaned up a little bit. But then again, those guys are so good at this. They probably just probably only need to see the top corner. <laughs> Oh, I'm really made up with that. That is fantastic. Great news. Actually, do you know what? There's, there's a cool little reference there, actually, if you think about it there. You know nothing, Jon Snow, that reference there. And that being that, that little Howard coin that I found, this one here, that little bad boy, uh, that's what they would have used in Game of Thrones. And, uh, and uh, the coins would have been just like those coins. If you think about it, that's pretty cool. Excellent. We must liberate the fines from their earthly shackles. Sheepies, join me sheepies. Especially you. You look like a sheep I can trust. Come sheepy, come be my friend. Oh wow. Oh wow. Look at that. 
that I believe is a medieval snake buckle. The reason I know that is because I was looking at the forums yesterday and someone had put one up and I found one years ago. Uh, but mine actually had um, twin snake heads on the top. I've never seen one like this. That is phenomenal. Um, oh, I don't know what to say. That is brilliant. Um, this would have been exactly the same buckle that Jon Snow would have used in Game of Thrones. Now, can you see the intricacy of the uh, of the design? Like each individual scale. Look at that. That is amazing, isn't it? And they, I'm pretty sure that's medieval. Uh, these go back all the way to Roman times. Um, but this one is, I think, is probably medieval. It is phenomenal to look at. It doesn't really do it justice on camera, but it's amazing. This one is for my flow, my fines liaison officer. Oh, beautiful. So, so happy with that. There you go. Something's gone on up here. Now, look, there's a lesson to be learned as well. There's a lot of lead up here. When people like normally kind of avoid lead heavy areas, I've just gone straight into it because lead always tells me that there's been human activity. And this is where the hammers, the snake charm, the snake buckle, and this strange thing have come up. You just gotta persevere through it. Yeah. My god man. The White Walkers have been here. We must tread carefully. Ha ha ha! I have found my steed. My trusty steed. Look at that, it's a little lead horse. With really short legs. That's cool, isn't it? And it's coloured as well. And do you know what? The colouring on that makes me feel like this is probably really old as well. It's certainly got some age to it, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. Really, really happy. It's been a great day so far. Gorgeous little swirly patterned button there. It's really, really nice. Really at some depth as well. Look, she picked that up. Love it. See, this winds me up, this does. Why do people, why do, people do this? For God's sake, I'm going to I'm gonna clean all this up. Oh, it annoys me. It really does. Wow, look at that one. That is a biggie. I don't put my scent around here too much. I want to freak them out. I just wanted to point out quickly that um, there's a myth in the, in the myths and tales in the world of metal detecting that say if you see something like this, always, always detect this spoil um, which comes out because they get some depth obviously and they kick it up. I don't believe it's myth and I, th I believe that the stories are true where people have found finds just like lying on the surface and things like that in this country especially. So always detect the spoils after um, you find any type of rum, badger, rabbit, fox, whatever. Always do this. And saying that, I've just moved over to another one, look. Uh, and guess what? <laughs> it's got a bit of an iron grunt behind it, but I'm going to dig it anyway. Ah, <laughs> it's just a bit of lead. Oh, what are you not doing down there? <laughs> now, there's odd bits of lead, and then there's odd bits of lead, but that indeed is a very odd bit of lead. Really big, heavy thing. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, looks like a little coin there, by my reckoning. It's probably a penny. It's a bit bent up. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Nah, she's had it, really. Oh, there are some markings. Oh, I'll have to get that one cleaned up at home, but I think that's probably uh, perhaps a token or some sort, even. Interesting. Blip me now. So is that. Whoa! Oh, and that go up through your welly, would ya? Good lord, man! Let me see if there's any markings. No, no markings on it. Cool! Dangerous! I shall save the sheepies' paws. Paws? Hooves? Hooves? Feet? Oh, I don't know. What do sheep have? Pawy hoof feet. I will remove this from the ground. And I will save them all. I am the Sheep Lord. Whoa, well I've come inside because it's blooming cold out there. 
1.5 and it's not even night time yet it's daytime it's 1.5 it's gonna be a cold one tonight I've got my hood on Paul Barford if you're watching this I'm sorry I do apologize I've got my hood on inside um, it's uh, it's it's rather cold so I have to wear a hood inside you understand anyway so uh, thank you for watching my friends I hope you enjoyed it it's a good field that one isn't it I hope you enjoyed it uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'm gonna go home and watch some more Game of Thrones I think maybe I shouldn't not too sure I'm gonna go home and watch some Game of Thrones thank you for watching see you in the next video bye